here everybody, there's another emperor here, but most people just come over this, which is fine. And today it's Showcase Friday. Uh, I just kind of made that up. I didn't make that up before I was recording, I only just made that up. <laughs> but yeah, today we're going to be showcasing the Golem World mod, which adds a ton more golems into your game rather than just the normal iron golems so we're going to grab this crafting recipe into our inventory or inventory whichever way you want to say it i've never really said inventory so i don't know which way to actually say it and this makes paper of awakening which is what we use to actually make our golems appear in the world and I'm just going to put this into the crafting table. One, two, three. One, two, three. Shove that in there. Shove that in there. That in there. That in there. Then we have some paper. Then we have a paper of awakening. The ID is actually five thousand which is crazy and i'm going to put this into my inventory it actually makes eight of the paper of awakening so you don't really need much of it and yep i took the pumpkin let me just take these extra paper of awakenings and we're gonna go out of our little lab thing that i made do you like it guys eh, i guess not <laughs> let's start making the golems so for one we are going to need clay just normal clay and yep we have a pumpkin where did i get 64 i only need one right let's go to this flattish area down here sand that's literally the texture of sand almost um put the pumpkin on top and paper of awakening entity clay golem that has 50 health as you can see on my damage indicators he looks a bit 2d on the damage indicators <laughs> and he does four mean attack damage so let's just give him a zombie spawn zombie oops it's peaceful uh, easy right zombie ah zombie's hitting me kill it for me Whoa, that hit it. Uh, some nice rotten flesh from the clay golem. Now let's just take this guy out, not with a pumpkin. There. And he drops five clay, so you get part of the clay back. Which is good. And now let's move on to the next one which is the diamond golem so we need a block of diamond and yep we've already got everything else just get rid of this rotten flesh and stuff because we don't really want to be carrying rotten flesh for this whole mod showcase so i'm pretty sure i've done that for quite a long time in the extreme nether mod pack but oh well and ooh, he looks awesome i'm pretty sure some of the other ones look better but he is amazing well the best one we've seen so far i think he's got some little vines going down here and red eyes as if he's going to literally kill me would you mind sir sir no and Yep, this guy has 250 health and 
So me and attack damage is 20. Whoa, it took him down in one hit. Well, I don't think it was the hit that killed the zombie, but I think it was the four damage as well. But sorry, you guys. I'm gonna have to stop. This is taking a while. I have too many times in my dying sword. Um, come on, die early! Yay, he's dead, and he drops two diamonds, so you don't really get much back from that one. But, at the cost of him being the most awesome one. And the next one is actually a dirt golem. So rather than having to get all that iron, like four blocks worth of iron, which is 9, 18, 20, 7, 36, uh, iron, all you need is fodder, pumpkin, and paper of awakening. And it's a dirt golem! They should have named it a grass golem, but. <laughs> I think your heart fell out through that hole, man. Uh, yeah. Um, <laughs> he has 10 health, and the mean attack damage is. Two, but this is the cheapest one. You can have dirt golems all over your world if you've got enough to craft all the paper of awakenings. And you have enough pumpkins. If you have a pumpkin farm, this would be literally amazing. This mod. Because you can just have dirt golems all over your village. <laughs> like, your self made village. And this guy only has 10 health, so we can take him out in like two hits. Yeah. And he doesn't drop anything. But it wasn't very expensive to start with anyway. Wait, it dropped three dirt, I think. Uh, right, now the next one requires an emerald block, so this is going to be the most expensive one, because if we just look at the recipe for this. Um, it's nine du nine emeralds, and the only way you can get emeralds is by emerald door, aka the most impossible thing to find in Minecraft ever, or uh, from villagers. So let's put the pumpkin on top of this one, and paper of awakening. Yes, entity emerald golem. This one kind of looks 3D on the damage indicators. And he has 200 health, so he isn't going to go down easily. And zombie. The mean attack damage on this one is 17. So it's actually the best one, I think. Let me just knock you out, sir, please. Thank god that in the new update. Oh. Um, that you can't break blocks with the sword in creative. He dropped two emeralds. Which is a little crazy, considering how much we actually paid to make him. And uh, the next one is Iron Golem. Now I know what you're thinking, like, yeah, there was Iron Golem before. There's actually a spawn Iron Golem. That's interesting, I didn't know you could do that. Um, right, so yeah, this is the normal iron golem that you'll probably remember. And when you get this mod, and you make an iron golem with just the pumpkin and stuff. Okay, I thought you had to use the Paper of Awakening, but maybe not. Uh, yeah, this is your normal Iron Golem guy. Hello, 100 health, and you already know what he does to mobs. Mean attack damage 14, but then he can show you so I gave the rattle and go. These golems are a bit slow, aren't they? Yep. If you find a zombie spawner, just leave this Iron Golem down there, and... 
you will have rotten flesh for days if that's what you really want or if you've got rotten flesh for the leather mod or any other use for rotten flesh in any mod then we just kill this iron golem which is taking absolutely forever and now we move on to the next one actually just this one gave us a rose on five iron that's interesting he gave me a rose because I killed him. That's interesting. Right, it's sandstone. Actually, I might try another type of sandstone to see if it works with other sandstone. It might, but I don't know. Let's first try it with smooth sandstone. And please say this isn't going to crash. My game. No, but it does kind of look smooth sandstone-y. So I'm going to try making a normal sandstone one, see the difference. Uh, both the same health. That one's got a creeper face on it. Oh, and so does this one. I'm just going to knock this one out. That one gave us four sand. And now we're gonna give this one a zombie. The attack damage is eight. So yeah, I'm just gonna kill this one. And <laughs> we're already 11 minutes through the mod showcase. I don't know how long this is actually gonna be, but well move some of this rubbish out and now the next one we're going to move on to is the stone golem i don't know if it works with cobblestone we'll try it but i don't think it will i think you're probably going to have to put your cobblestone in the furnace first to be able to make this but oops no no doesn't work. Baby zombie? No, out of my world, please. Uh, I thought baby zombies dropped rotten flesh, but maybe they don't. Oh. Alright, let's actually make the stone golem this time. And hopefully, it isn't just a glitch with this mod that you can't actually make this one. But. Stone golem. This one has 50 health. And if it's going to me, its mean attack damage is 8. I didn't actually see how many um, hits that, that took the zombie down in. Uh, but, yep, this one has 50 health, so it's going to be quite hard to kill. Die, 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 die. He dropped 3 cobblestone. No, 2 cobblestone. Should get rid of those. And where's the rotten flesh left from that zombie? Or did it not drop me? Or did I just put it back in my inventory? Don't know. Uh, hardened clay golem. The so next one is going to be hardened clay golem, as you heard me just say. So, one, two, three, across the top of here. Pop this little pumpkin on the top, and there. He's got red, a red head kind of thing. The text is going off my uh, damage indicators there, and he has 35 health. I don't know how cheap hardened clay is. Whoa! He's tearing up that zombie like it's nobody's business, and that is eight. Mm mean attack damage and now let's take this guy out it gave us all of the hardened clay back which is good no it gave us three i think yeah three uh right now we're moving on to medium golems apparently on the wiki page um the next one is the glass golem. 
this might actually be interesting, so it'll probably like be completely transparent. these on whoa that looks amazing it's only 10 health before it kind of smashes because you know that's what glass does it smashes into hundreds of pieces and yep that guy only took one hit kill and he drops three glass but um so the next one will be glowstone come on type glowstone Paper of Awakening on his head. Whoa! And this guy has a special feature, as you might know. You okay with your purple eyes there? Uh, we just time set night. He is lighting up the world. So. Yep, this guy could be very useful in survival actually, because he just lights up everything, but of course you've got to go to the nether first, you have to go to the nether first for all of them, because you need glowstone dust, unless you find it in like a village or something, and uh, let's give this guy a one, and two, three hits, I'm just going to set time today, because I've turned daylight cycle off so it won't actually change the time and uh, let's kill this guy two hits and uh, three glowstone dust came back <sighs> gold is the next one block of gold and ok we're going to burn this place so uh, my accidental placing there and we're 17 minutes through the mob review and we haven't even done all of them and I think we've got quite a few to go well not really um this mod is amazing though golden golden 40 health and speed of zombie whoa one hit and then full damage that's amazing and right image Kill this one. I don't think that had any Okay, it recovers during combat. Um Walk over lava and water. That gave us two gold ingots back. And uh, let's just get rid of some of this. Now what we need is lava bucket and water bucket because there's something very special about this one. Uh, let's get rid of some gra gra grass if I can speak. Why is there lava here? Oh my god! How far does this go down? Just to there. Just taste it there. I think it was with another experiment. Oh my god. So much lava. But place this here, here, here. Another line here. It will let us place lava here. And well, no, not, not on the surface. Yep. 
so here we go. Now we just need to ice. No, not I S C A. Ice. Now we need. Yep, I think that's it. Is that just going to melt the ice? I don't know. Wait, I think that one might be too close. Oh. Pumpkin. Paper of awakening. Paper of awakening. Now, if we just put this on me, I decide with this. They will walk over water and lava, turning the water to ice and the lava to obsidian, which is amazing, and I'm just going to fill in the little gap you left here, and yep, so you can have an obsidian farm, all you need is ice to start with, and of course diamonds. Now, let's get on with the next one, just after we've killed these two. Oh, they pour water everywhere. Did you have to do that, man? Seriously? You've just ruined my mod showcase. Right. This mod also features incredibly glitched out water. If you want incredibly glitched out water in the world, that is. And yeah. those gave us like three eyes, I think. No, one must have given three and one must have given two. And two flowers. That's interesting. Now, the next one is, well, I've accidentally just closed the wiki page. I'm back. And the next one is Lapis. Lapis Golem. Right, Lapis Lazuli Block or Lazuli, I don't know how it's pronounced. Is this going to be longer than half an hour? Because this is going to be my longest video I've ever done if it is. Uh, Lapis Golem. Now, zombies. <laughs> Immune attack damage not applicable. That's useful. No, eight. And the uh, ice column was eight as well. And yeah, let's see what this guy gives us. Five lapis you lie. Now netherite. I'm the Nether Emperor, so I think this is going to be my favourite. I haven't actually seen, I haven't actually seen most of these, but oh, can't. What the hell? What have I done wrong? Does this? I remember now. Yeah, so you have to put two flint and steel, which the fire goes into his eyes, as it looks like. 30 health, and looking amazing. And. Zombie? Is he gonna attack the zombie or what? Oh, he shoots fireballs. And they do quarter five attack damage. The. I. To be honest, I wouldn't really have this one in my world because it fires fireballs and my house is made of wood, which is incredibly useful. And sorry, you are my favourite golem, but you're just not allowed in my world. And bye bye!
you drop four netherrack. So you can remake him. And next one is obsidian. Do let's just get some redstone so we don't have to keep going into the menu and quartz. Those are the last ones. And let's just make them all. Now quartz across like this. Now first let's do the quartz golden, that's a hundred health. And something <laughs> And that's being splatted. Uh, and a hundred health. The mean attack damage is fourteen, which is pretty good. And now let me just kill this one so it doesn't so it's not unfair so that, so that we can actually see what damage the other ones are doing. Obsidian Golem. This one's got fire in his eyes as well, or vines over the shoulder. And uh, no, I'm not going to kill you that. Uh, zombie. Killed the zombie. Was that a zombie villager? I'm pretty sure I saw the eyes of a zombie villager. Um, mean attack damage is 8, and I'm just going to have to take that, 300 health, so this is going to take forever to kill, so let me just go back in my mouse a bit, my mouse is going to be broken after using this mod. Obsidian. Uh, let's get rid of the quartz as well. Don't really look at the quartz one. And also get rid of the redstone because I don't see any reason for that to be hanging around. And it's paid for awakening. Redstone golem, 30 health, uh, 6 mean attack damage. <laughs> This one out, and this one gave us five redstone. And yeah, and that's going to be the end of the mod showcase. If you do like the look of this mod, which it is pretty amazing, so you can download it from the link below in the description. Where, um, where I've left other stuff in the past. And all the information that I've told you is on the wiki and this mod showcase has been 29 minutes and 3 seconds. And until next time, goodbye! Oh come on, let me stop recording!